The next item on the agenda is a student member of the board report, Mr. Muhamza. Hello. Um, good afternoon, uh, Madam Chair, Superintendent Williams, members of the board and team BCPS. It is my honor to give my second report on the important work that the student member has been doing these past, these past few months. My work, like many other student leaders, did not cease following the emergency closure. We continued to meet, uh, to team uh, build, and stay connected with, uh, and stay connected with all our, our endeavors. Early on, the school system created a social, social and emotional learning committee tasked uh, with keeping our students engaged during this tumultuous period. The group met uh, countless times where we discussed initiatives like mental health flyers, Instagram live Q&A sessions, uh, and other activities geared to support the mental health of our students. It was my pleasure serving on this committee and other committees that were initiated by our superintendent and his staff to include the voice of, of our stakeholders, especially our youth. Other notable committees uh, included, sorry, Other notable committees uh, included the Student Handbook uh, Work Group, which was led by Dr. Zurchin, who, have, who I have had the chance to work with on other uh, climate-related issues. The school, uh, the school uh, reopening group, work group was also led by, uh, was led by Dr. Adams, and that was focused on um, getting students' perspective on the reopening plan. And the Mind, Mind Over Matters work group, uh, which was led by the climate, uh, the school climate department, uh, was tasked with uh, planning for the Mind Over Matters uh, month. I was also honored to be the guest speaker at Dundalk Middle School's commencement ceremony, uh, Ridge, Ridgely Middle School's avid uh, celebration, and the Grange uh, Elementary School uh, summer summer celebration. Next, I want to uh, acknowledge a very important group of people that I've had that I have had the pleasure of working with. This uh, this was the planning committee for the BCPS race and racism conversation that occurred last month. Mike, the, uh, Michael Dickerson was gracious enough to ask me to be involved in this monumentous uh, project project that he and our superintendent had incepted. We began uh, we began as a small group, which included Dr. Dick, uh, Mr. Dickerson. Dr. Lisa Williams, Dr. William Burke, Mr. Jim Corns, uh, Mr. Brandon Orland, Ms. Alyssa Alston, and the communications, uh, the communication, uh, sorry, Mr. Eric Dodson, and it pretty soon grew rapidly to include other members of the communication uh, team, other central staff officials, and uh, school, uh, school system leaders. Dr. Williams and, uh, Dr., um, and Mr. Dickerson, I commend you both for your steadfast leadership and commitment in ensuring that our school system is one is, is on the just uh, trajectory for equity for all our students. Furthermore, in order to fulfill my commitment for equity for all our students, I have I have been arduously researching, talking with families, and meeting with uh, school officials to better understand the plights of our special needs students, who are a demographic of students whose voices are not heard as much. Two weeks ago, I met with our new director of special education, Ms. Perendozi, who is recent, who just recently moved to Baltimore County from Florida, and was uh, nice enough to allot some of her precious time to uh, describe the program to me and explain in depth some of the issues that ha that they have been seeing, uh, that families have been facing, especially during this uh, this COVID age. I will. Personally, continue to uh, keep myself informed on, the, on these issues and advocate for our special education students. Family of special uh, for the families of special ed students, you are welcome to email me with any further concerns or keep me updated with new information uh, information concerning IEP. Uh, special thanks to our school officials for being transparent and uh, accepting my request for this meeting. Uh, Earlier today, I also attended a meeting with our county government leaders who were having an important discussion concerning equity as it relates to policing. Uh, special thanks to our county executive, John Yeo, for forming this committee and uh, extending an invite to me. 
the mem the other members of this committee committee included uh, community representative Crystal Francis, uh, Tony Forget, the Baltimore County uh, NAACP uh, representative, Councilman Julian Jones, uh, Colonel Robert McConnell McConnell from uh, Baltimore County Police Department, Anthony Russell, uh, President of Blue Guardians, Scott Schellenberg, State's Attorney, John Skinner, Professor of Criminal Justice at Towson University, Senator Charles Sidner, David Rose, the Fraternal Order of Policing, uh, Chief Melissa Hyatt, Baltimore County Police Department, uh, Drew, Drew Vetter, uh, Baltimore County Department, uh, Deputy Administrative Officer, uh, Darrell Brooks, Office of Law, James Dills, Office of, Public Defend of the Public Defender, Kelly Fenner, Baltimore County Police Department, Rick Height, Baltimore County Sh Sheriff's Department, uh, and our very own uh, County Executive Johnny O and Troy Williams from the Law Office. Uh, you can watch these meetings on the go County Government's live stream, and today's meeting was uh, streamed on the WBFF Facebook page. In closing, I want to, I want to thank uh, my colleagues for your hard work on this board our amazing superintendent who has shown uh, tremendous leadership in our school system and our hard, our hardworking educators and staff who uh, whose work really uh, gets the acknowledgement that they, it's a des that is deserved. We all have an aw uh, awesome responsibility uh, to affect meaningful changes to better our to better the lives of our students and it is going to require all of us. I look forward to working uh, proactively with this board as we do this great work. P please feel free to email me with any concerns and also reach out to me on all social media platforms. And yes, to the adults, that also includes Facebook. I know it, it is rare these days for a youth to have an account. Uh, thank you all.